Okay, time to use this knife. I look forward to it. <clears throat> Definitely this will be used by today. So we got some uh, plastic also to process. Uh, so far so good. Um, making a mess, but it still cuts paper. I should mention that I'm using the factory edge on this, so I have not sharpened it yet. It's very comfortable in the hand. Sits pretty deep in your pocket. Got some more cardboard. Like paperboard. Okay, so I can already tell uh, it's not cutting paper as easily. I can get it started, but there must be some dull spots probably that I've been using the areas more. So I'm going to go ahead and say for this uh, 5CR13MOV blade that it is time to use the ceramic rods to hone it up. Uh, but I did get, you know, more cuts in than you probably would do in a day. And uh, for me, the softer steels are not an issue. I don't use whetstones or anything. I just carry a portable pull-through sharpener, and it touches them right up to paper cutting sharp, which is all I need. So, uh, yeah, this is a really nice knife for 18 bucks. It reminds me, if you like a slimmer version or a, a smaller handle version of the, the way it feels, it reminds me of the uh, Ontario Knife Company Rat Model 1. So, yep, I think I definitely, uh, myself, would use this as a daily user since I'm not going to be doing that many cuts. And I think that's the thing, is just using your knife. Uh, but I'm gonna, it still cuts cardboard fine. So, that's just paper cut. So it still cuts cardboard fine. I'm going to continue to process for the rest of my shift and... Uh, but, uh, yeah, maybe I won't touch it up just yet. Because it does start the paper, so it does technically cut. It just, it does stop, like, halfway through the paper. Or it starts to snag, so. But let me go ahead and I'll update when I do finally sharpen it. Or, technically, I'm not sharpening it. I'm just basically stropping it. I don't have a strop, so I'm ceramic rotting it. Is that what you're supposed to say? I don't know. Okay, so I finally did have to uh, touch it up, uh, less than 30 seconds on the uh, rods, and uh, now I'm able to cut this again. Uh, what made me decide to go ahead and touch it up is I was having trouble with this uh, inner tube rubber, so now it cuts through, and now I'm cutting some uh, sisal twine between accounts. Uh, I did a little bit of wood carving, but uh, yeah, so... Okay, so we are shaving some pencils and cutting up some weed eater uh, string, some rubber bands, and at the Dollar Tree they sell these game cards. I'm actually going to go back sometime and get the two pack of playing cards. So we're uh, cutting it up. It's working well. I have not had to resharpen it yet since I did the first time. Finally got some glue on some cardboard. And this pen has not run out of ink yet. So here are the little uh, weed eater string bits. So I have noticed just very slight side to side wiggle. Very slight but still noticeable. Uh, probably just fix it by tightening the pivot. Uh, I do try to flip this thing as much as I can between cuts and it counts. So. But yeah, very, very slight. Uh, not something that would be a deal breaker for the day if I was using it. Um, but anyway. In the process of cutting this uh, braided rope into smaller pieces, I have not had to resharpen this but once, uh, well, re-hone it but once, and the uh, side to side that I indicated earlier, which was just very 
neck very, I mean, gosh, you couldn't even really tell. I mean, you can, I guess, because if you look for it. But uh, it has not gotten worse. So, um, still cuts paper after the, I'm just going to say sharpening. It's not sharpening, but after the honing or stropping. But, uh, yeah, so, so far so good. Uh, I, I'm not even going to adjust this pivot if it doesn't get any worse. That's how minuscule the play is. And this pen, I do not know why it's not running out of ink. I mean, I guess I should be glad, but I really expected it to be dead, so we're still trying. Do you ever use your knife and it seems to get sharper when you use it? <laughs> because uh, I've been whittling on this wood and it's still cutting paper, so... That's so funny. I don't know if I already mentioned this, but I like that there's no jumping on the lock. It's very comfortable in hand. Carving some of this type of wood too. So I'm trying to be careful with this wood. I used my uh, multi-tool to pull out some of the nails the best I could. Or cut them, I should say. I couldn't pull them out because I'm a weakling. So I'm going to carve around these staples as not to damage my knife. But as you can see, there's a little bit of feather sticking going on. So, anyway, I really like uh, using my knives. So I think this idea of me using them while I'm working is going to benefit me uh, just because I like to use my knives. This knife has been doing really well considering the fact that I've only had to touch it up once and it's still cutting paper now again uh, and I've been cutting various woods, rubber bands, braided rope, paper. Saving the cardboard for tomorrow's knife uh, because yeah but I got plenty of other materials to cut. Oh yeah, also just as an update, um, you can't even, if I could, I don't have a try, well, I'm too lazy to pull out my, here, let me, I really don't have an excuse because I bought this thing for $4.88 at Walmart, and you can use it like a tripod, so, yeah, so let me see if I can, so on the side to side, I don't even know if you can see it. See, you can't even see it. I can feel it so slight. And it might just even be my hand. But, uh... Yeah. So this has been doing really well. And remember, this is, a uh, 5CR 15MOV. So... Uh, which is just another reason why I don't want to buy any more Benchmades and spider Spydercos. Uh, just because I have what I need for those types of knives, the rest, are, I just want to see how how well some of these other knives do that everybody dismisses. You know, $18 knife at Lowe's, and it's it's working out really well. This is going to definitely be one of my favorite knives. Huh, I just realized with this uh, stand, I can hold this now and show you. So this is after uh, all the stuff I already showed you. And one time through the ceramic rod, it's about 30 se less than 30 seconds. Oops. See? It still, still cuts paper. I mean, if I would have spent maybe a little more time... Okay, now it wants to... Uh, anyway. Yeah, it still works. Okay, maybe... Well, there you go. So... I don't know why I didn't think about using the. Well, I know why because I'm when I'm busy at work, I don't have time to move the stand around. I'm just cutting this into smaller sections so it's easier to process the next time. Sissel twine. When I buy these materials, I try to go for cheap and plentiful. This has really come in handy for four dollars and eighty-eight cents. It is about freaking time. This thing was like holding out on me. It 
did not want to die. It's dead now. Okay, let's try this again. I thought I was recording. So, uh, it has been eight hours. My shift is over. And uh, this knife... Cuts paper. Now, I did... I did uh, touch it up once. So, it did not last the whole eight hours, but when I say it's touched it up, I ran it through this ceramic rod, uh, less than 30 seconds of pulling and pushing through, and uh, it got it back to paper cutting sharp. And that's continued cutting of various materials, uh, wood, cardboard, paper, paperboard, cardstock, sisal twine, braided rope, rubber bands, and uh, on this wood, there's a couple of staples that I was trying to avoid, but I did end up hitting them, and uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's a couple nicks or chips, I guess, where I hit the, where I hit it, the staple, but uh, not, a, not a big deal, it's still paper, paper cutting sharp. So, considering this is five CR15 MOV and uh, still centered, if I can get it to focus, okay. Well, anyway, um, minimal, like. I don't think you can even see this, this left and right, the side to side. It's, it's just me. It's so minute. Uh, has not gotten worse. And uh, here's pretty much the mess that I made today. So uh, I would say for an average person, uh, that steel is more than enough for your regular everyday usage. Um, I am collecting for tomorrow's uh, knife a bunch of more cardboard. Gotta clean up this mess now. I'm done. I'm off work. Leftover church's chicken. Burr, 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 burr. Just watching some video about Zoids, eating some popcorn, and then using this knife, the model 8607 pound, for some woodworking, for fun.